Hey guys, welcome back to Ubers Gaming HD. So this episode we're getting Soclot back and this is the end of the first part really. And the idea if you watch the first cutscene in episode one, that Soklov is a defect who's moved who's gone from Russia to America and he was developing a weapon of mass destruction which is very secret at this point, you don't know what it was. And you know, America got Sokolov over and then Russia made a bargain with America that they'd pull out of Cuba, which is a real life event, that they'd pull out of Cuba so that America would have to give Sokolov back. It was sort of a negotiation bargain, but they used uh, a story to to the public that they pulled that America pulled out of Turkey so that Russia would pull out of Cuba. So it's an, and it's an example of how this game uses real life events to cover the actual game story, which I think is pretty cool. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm just pulling this guy over into the shrubs. I'm not entirely sure what goes on here, I'm not entirely sure how many guards there is, so I'm just pulling him into the shrubs, just so that there's less chance of people seeing him, I guess. And I think there's another one as well, well, there's plenty more actually around this area. So, get some chaff grenades off him, I actually wanted some of them. I don't think there is any security cameras, because Snake probably would have said, oh, a security camera or some, or some shit along that line, so... I'm just gonna see if I can pop these guys off here. And if memory serves correctly, you just have to climb up a ladder and get to him somehow. I don't know if there's a hatch or something like that. I can't really remember how you got into him, but I know he's definitely like that building to my left, or well, just to the left of the screen. Now you can see. I'm sure he's there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. So I'll pull this guy into the, into the grass as well, just in case anyone starts to pop up. And I will tell you, there's a lengthy cutscene in, in a second as well. Like, there's only going to be a couple of minutes of me chatting, and then it's going to be. Another big cutscene where, where I get into Sokolov. Uh, I, I'm sure there's another big chunky one. And, and you meet Revolver Oss a lot as well, um, very surely, but he's very, very young. So if you're a fan of Metal Gear Solid, then you know you might not have realised who this character was. I'm sure, well, if you're a fan of Metal Gear Solid, then you would have realised. But if you're not a big fan and you've played this game, you might not have known who he was. But when you, when you see him, I can't even climb a friggin' ladder. So when you see him, yeah, you'll you'll realise he's you know, he's a really important character later on in the series. <coughs> just using my mic to see if I can hear anything inside the rooms. I'm just trying to work out where he is. I'm not entirely sure. I don't fancy jumping down and getting spotted. Cause that won't be good. So let's have a little nose over here. Well, you can sort of walk quite slow if you try. So there's a guy down there. I wonder if I can shoot him. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to be in the way or not. I don't know if there's a guy to my left. I think I have to jump in a room to my left. I think Sokolov is below me now. Holy shit! Don't do that. I think Sokolov is below me now, and I'm not entirely sure you get in. I thought there might have been a hatch in the roof, but obviously there isn't. Uh, I might have to put this guy asleep if I can. The aim system is so crap. Huh? Uh, oh, oh, come the on. Oh, uh, huh? fucking hell, fire. What's that sound? I don't know what to do now. I still don't know if there's a guy in that little part there. Well, if there was, I think I've drawn him out. Um, do, 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 do. I know I can't go into Sokolov if I'm on the alert phase, but. I shouldn't matter too much because I'm on caution. Like, when you're on caution, you obviously haven't been spotted. They're just, they're just extra cautious, obviously, as it says. So I'll put that guy asleep there. There is another one. Uh, just don't know where he is. Can't see him. Might just take a, might just risk it for a biscuit in a minute and just jump down. I don't think that guy is going to be doing up too much. Oh, just chilling. Oh, let's just go. Here we go. It's worked. So, anyway, guys, I'll probably catch you in the next episode because massive cutscene incoming. So, I'll catch you on the next episode. Bye bye. You must be Sokolov. Are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. A 
We've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. Who's they? Colonel Volgin of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside. Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process so it would seem. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Where did you learn to speak it? from my mentor. Is that so? America's truly a frightening country. Having second thoughts? No. I have no love for this place. Let's go. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Please. 
So this is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a Gru soldier doing here? Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Huh. You're not the boss, are you? What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, 
I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! <laughs> But that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. <laughs> 